Hello my friends. Welcome to another video update. Today we're in the front yard and I have a very exciting project going on that I wanted to document from the beginning. So the front yard has needed work all summer, but I haven't had the chance to do anything with it until now that the kids are back in school. Yay! So now we're going to take this space and we're going to zhuzh it up a lot. And for the very reasonable cost of $32 worth of topsoil, I am going to make this space look completely different. And I will show you how. So you can see here that I have the border uh, marked out. I'm going to dig this up and I'm gonna try to make the beds match. And I'm coming around here, you see that there. And right there, I'm gonna leave an open space because I wanna be able to go and sneak over and say hi to the So um, that'll be the friendly neighbor bypass right there. And then this is gonna be a whole sitting area for myself. So I can sit here in the morning and watch my kids go to school. Bye cup of coffee and the sun rises right here right here it goes back and forth in the sky so and then right here is my bedroom window and I sit there and I do meditation and yoga and I'm gonna have a beautiful garden to look at right here so let me show you what I got going on I've been growing these plants all summer and been waiting and waiting and waiting until I had the time to work on this and so I just went to uh, Dambly's and I picked them up and then, then I saw that mum and that mum, that's yellow and that's that beautiful color. I already had that one growing and now I have just those two. So those are the only two that I bought. Everything else I've been growing or I traded with somebody or maybe I bought it in the spring and um, I just haven't had a chance to use it. These things down here I've grown. We have salvia, rue, uh, vervain, chives, uh, we've got valerian, and right there is going to be a beautiful uh, lilac bush, and that's majorum lavender, some more valerian there, and then right there is some mugwort, and also forsythia, oh it looks like it fell over, that I traded for some plants with some of my friends at Sunshine Farm. So another shout out to my friends, Nancy and Mary I over at Sunshine Farms. They have a lot of fun things going on there, including fresh eggs and stuff like that, but they do have plants for sale and they grow everything naturally and organically and sustainably and um, in the most loving and caring way for our planet as they can, just like me. So going on, we've got some sage. This is Artemisia, or, or, it's called cold cola plant. Artemisia, Artemisia. I believe that's how you say it, but I might be butchering it. And um, so that's the, the mugwort and the forsythia and behind there. Um, oh, I don't want this to get damaged. Look at that fig, isn't that beautiful? So that's gonna be a fig tree. And then this is a Jerusalem artichoke, another one from my friends at Sunshine Farms. There's pineapple sage. I have an olive tree right here that I've been growing. Uh, this is castor, New Zealand castor. And then some basil and a blanket flower there. And some other flowers, little flowers are in there. There's, where did it go? Oh, well that's a columbine and lemon balm and i think that's it so i got all these things i'm maybe going to rearrange some of that stuff but this is going to look very very different the next time you see it and i'm very excited to watch this transformation happen so let me let me go around here so so my investment has only been just the soil so far and that's like 30 bucks and uh, you can see what it's gonna look like here. Well, you gotta imagine, you gotta use your imagination. And 
Let's look at it from this angle. It's going to look so different. All right, that's it for now. All right, until the next video, we'll see you later. Well, hello there. Here is an update of how far we got after day three of working out here. My husband was helping me yesterday and today, and you can see we put quite a dent in, in this project here. So today is the end of the work day, and I thought I would take a little video to update our progress. And we can see it from all angles. So there it is. A lot of work. A lot of work, but it is so rewarding. When this is all done, it's going to look amazing. All right, that's it for now. Till the next video. See you later. Well, hello there, my friends. It is the end of day four of working out here. Of course, not the fourth consecutive working day because I got to give myself a break. Plus, it rained. So, I wanted to take a video to look at my progress because I'm so excited now. I am all done digging it out and smoothing it out and removing a lot of the weeds, but I do have a mess to clean up. You can see all the weeds are around the side. But I'm very excited now because I can start putting my plants where they're gonna go and then I can start planting them. But it's getting late and I'm running out of energy, so I don't know if I'm gonna finish it now. Um, so I'll take a walk around here and we'll see. There's my plants that are waiting so patiently. And we can see over here from this angle. This was a really big undertaking. I realize that now, but I'm really glad that it's coming along like this because it's going to look amazing when it's all done. All right, so that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So I thought I didn't have any more energy left, but apparently I did. So I cleaned up a little bit and I just placed all the plants where I think I want them to go. And I'm so excited, but I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to sleep on it. And I thought I would take a video to show what I have where. I have lavender right there. That's a lilac bush. That's lemongrass, a Maltese cross, a mum. That's gonna be a yellow mum. Back there we have sage, and then we have another sage and another sage, and they're all different sages. And in between there, that's called uh, amethyst and snow. And then I have echinacea, I have thyme. There's uh, some golden oregano down there that I kind of beat up pretty bad. Then we've got a blanket flower, columbine, some valerian, another mum. We got vervain in between the Jerusalem artichoke. And we got mugwort there. Uh, we got chives, some more valerian. And my favorite, forsythia. And some catnip, some oregano, yarrow. And uh, some gloriosa daisies over there. So here it is. This is the layout so far. I think I like it. I think I like it. Can't wait to see everything grow in the spring. It's going to look great. All right. Well, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Hello and welcome to another video. I am so excited to reveal my new flower bed 
or I should just call it a garden bed. My new garden bed in the front yard. I'm not 100% done because over here I ran out of mulch, but it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and I'm just so excited about this. I just took an inventory of all the plants that I have in here and I have 72 plants or trees. There's trees there you can see. There's a lilac tree in the middle of a nectarine, a peach tree, and there's an apple tree. And, um, and then over here we'll have some bushes. So in total, there's 72 plants and 39 of these plants are medicinal and I will be using them as medicines. Um, and I still have a couple of things to do out here to set that intention for them. Um, but I will be making future videos about that as well as uh, hosting some classes about uh, the all the herbal medicines that I'm growing and showing people how easy it is to grow them for yourself and then also how to make medicine out of them for optimal wellness and for uh, boosting your immune system, for managing your mind and emotions, managing stress, anxiety, depression, insomnia, pain. Uh, it also, I have a lot of things in here to boost your memory and to um, protect your cognitive functioning. So you can see here, I didn't finish with the mulch yet. I need a couple more bags and I'm going to put some solar lighting out here as well. And then I'll probably do some decorations for inside the bed and I have to figure out what to do with the border as well. But I have been able to sit out here and watch the sunrise and uh, contemplate and organize and prepare. I'm also still working on this flower bed as well. I have to get the, the soil in there, but it's, it's really starting to look amazing. So here's the view from, from my little area that I sit in. And I just set up a, a chain for the dog so that she can join me when I'm out here, but she gets very upset when other dogs come by. So I have to keep an eye on her. So anyway, that's this video. I just wanted to show this progress here. Now I do still have more work to do. It's not done, but I have all 72 plants in there and I'm working on um, creating a spreadsheet and also some information sheets on each of the ones that are a medicine. So I have 39 plants in there and it, there are some that are duplicated that I consider a medicine like that's purple sage right there and that's Italian sage and that's pineapple sage. So that's three different sages that are a medicine. And then I have a couple of different thymes. There's silver thyme over there and I have lemon thyme in the middle there. And uh, so that's two different plants that are a medicine. All right, so I always, I always make these videos too long. So until the next video, I hope this inspires you to get out into your yard and create some beautiful space for yourself. You'll love it. See you later. Well, hello there, my friends. Time for another gardening update. I'm so excited about how this came out. I finished filling in the rest of the mulch, which was over here. Oh, oh, before I go further. In one of the videos, I misidentified this plant right here. I called it lemongrass. Of course, that's not lemongrass. That's lemon balm right there. Um, but I also wasn't pointing to things. So now I, when I point something out verbally, I'm going to point it out like that, like the blanket flower there. And the, that's um, purple sage. And this sage right here is my favorite sage. It's just starting to bloom. Sometimes it doesn't make it to this point because the frost will kill it. So today's October 17th and it is the first anticipated frost day, but we have been very fortunate with mild weather. Um, I just looked at the weather and it, 
the first potential day that it could be frosty is next Monday. Um, and that will kill some of these things off. And then they won't be as pretty. But so right now I'm enjoying this so very much. And especially when the sun is out because it keeps peeking behind these gorgeous puffy, puffy clouds. Um, so then I also planted some pansies there because pansies don't mind the cold weather. I don't like when my shadow gets in here. I'm trying to trying to come from a vantage point where you don't see my shadow there. So then I also went out to my favorite rock collecting areas and I found some rocks like that one uh, just to add some decoration. There's another one and another one over there. And then I finished off this area the best I could with what I had left. I ran out of soil and I didn't want to put mulch over here because I like the way the color of the the rock border balances out with the color of the the mulch over there. So when you look at the whole thing, like there's my my little spot. I love to sit there with my morning coffee in the sunshine. Think about my day. And then I planted these right here. Uh, that's kale. So they, they should grow all winter and they should be okay. There's another kale there. And then I put another kale over there. So I at least have something growing over the winter. And then all in between here, very randomly, wherever there was space, I planted all bulbs. I have crocuses, uh, grape hyacinths, allium, or allium, however you pronounce it, and tulips that will all come up over here and over here. Um, and so I'm very excited about that. Very excited. I can't stop looking at this. I really can't. So the next step that I'm going to do is then, um, because there are certain plants here that I'm going to be harvesting specifically as medicine, I'm going to set the intention with them and I'm going to bless them with Reiki energy and then vibrationally charge them all up with crystals and, um, you know, my, my constant attention on them uh, to use as medicine. So I'm going to be uh, making some videos about that along the way. You can follow my journey and show you how easy it is to do this because of course I'm in the great gardening state of New Jersey and we are very fortunate with a very good climate. We have about 184, 85 days of growing. Uh, we have a growing season, a very long growing season. So there is a lot that we can grow. And then, of course, if you know what you're doing with a little bit of knowledge and energy, you can really grow all year. I grow all year because I have greenhouses and I have the ability to grow downstairs because I have lights um, and heat mats and stuff. So um, there's always a way. There's always a way. All right. So that's it for now. That's just my update for here. And uh, oh, wait, I wanted to didn't want to show these beautiful rocks that I got today. This, this one especially. I'm wondering if the camera will pick up the specks of like gold sparkle that I saw in there, but I'm not sure. But this is extremely heavy and I'm pretty sure that this is a quartz crystal. And I don't know what the other material is that's sparkling, but it does look like gold. I'm going to call it gold, but I'm very excited about this because I use all of these nice large rocks that I find. Oh, and I found, found this beautiful bird feather um, that called to me. I had to have it. So I collect these when I see them. So it's very beautiful. Um, put that in my office. So I'm very excited about this find. This is a big one. I love when I find big ones like this. Normally I find smaller ones. Um, but I found a really great area to go to, um, where I can collect these. Actually, I did make a video, but I didn't post it. Um, I'll have to upload the video, show you where I get these because it just, it also helps me balance out. I had a bad day yesterday with my computer and I thought that I had lost all my data that I have been working on 
for my new business that I'm trying to start. I thought I lost all of that data for from years, I mean years. And so I made a video, I'll probably upload that too, of how I balanced myself out yesterday. But I also use these, these rocks because they're very good grounding energy. And you can feel it when you come here, people tell me. Um, it feels like in my backyard, it's very, very grounding. So, well, that's it for now. I've talked your ear off enough. I hope you have a fabulous day and I hope this inspires you to put your shovel in the ground and create something beautiful. You will love it. Until the next video, see you later.